My name is Ben Baller, and you probably recognize me pushing fancy whips, stunting in the nightclubs, or sitting courtside at the Laker games. But the rest of the world knows me as the jeweler to the stars, Ben Baller. So we're going to see my boy Pusha T right now, one half of the clips. Over a decade in the game, brought in by Pharrell, Star Trek. I don't know what he wants to do now. We just did this crazy, crazy, crazy piece. Fully encrusted diamond keys. One of his biggest lines is keys open doors. And everyone's talking about it. Blogs went crazy. Push. You. What's up? What's up, dog? How you doing? Let me see. Got your little Hollywood lob going on, man. L.A. treating me nice. What you got? Let's not worry about this right now, man. <laughs> What's good, man? What are you? Everything, man. Every time I sit down with you, I know we're gonna make some, some groundbreaking shit for sure. This right here? Yeah. That's set it off. Man, I'm just in a jury that like means something. This is really my mother's house key. This is really my <laughs> this is really my house key. This is really a safe key. I love these classier pieces. But I'm also on my vintage kick right now. You know, paying homage to the slick ricks and to the rock hymns. Like, I need the Mercedes Benz and Rope chain, not too big. Man, you want to ice out the top? The top, Stop. the back, the sides. Stop it, man. All angles. I don't want you to be able to see. <laughs> you, know, you know how it goes. Like, Listen, say no more. You know I trust you. Like, so the 20000 for the Mercedes-Benz logo iced out, right. solid. You know, we don't haggle. We don't go back and forth. I, mean, I, I trust you. You're going you to give me the right price. Right, so I got about two weeks. I got to get it started, so. <laughs> Yesterday I met my boy Pusha T. We're gonna make an old school chain, dookie rope. We'll go inside and knock this out real quick. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, so um, I'm so tense, man. Yeah, I ain't your wife. Man. I met up with Pusha T yesterday. The fool wants to go old school. He wants to go OG, like you know what I'm saying, like primo, dookie like chain. like. Dookie chain, he wants to do a Mercedes Benz logo. I saw out the three sides. You know, he said he ain't haggle on prices. I figured it out, but. I'm thinking it's gonna probably be around 20,000. Not small? crazy big, just a perfect size, you know? Like the original short. in the car. Yeah. So you want to go jack one for you? Yeah, let's do that. So I want to do it short, because you know, back in the day, no one's wearing long chains. He said he was in kind of a rush. We have so many orders, no, though. No, I know, that's what I'm saying. Push us by Jewelry from Jacob. That Jacob takes did, a month. Jacob did fucking day. And then we get this going, like I said, we'll get the baby Jesus. All right, let's do it. All right. and making Pusha T's piece, I ideally wanted to go get a Mercedes-Benz hood ornament, but that wasn't gonna work. So we pull the perfect file off the internet, I give the file to Jimmy, and Jimmy cuts the wax. With this wax in particular, Jimmy has to be a little bit more precise with each edge. Once he's finished cutting the wax, we send it to casting. When the casting is finished and it's in its raw gold format, we give it to Chucky. Then from there, Chucky's gonna pave set diamonds all around each edge. Now, like I said, there are triangular parts on this, so he has to do this carefully. Once he's finished with that, give it a high polish, throw some yellow gold rhodium on it, and we're ready for delivery. I'm gonna check out the final inspection on Pusha T's piece. It just got finished maybe about 20 minutes ago, so it's fresh. But I saw the process, so it looks good. Let's see what happens. I oh, hear this. I like it. Do you think you like it better with when it had no diamonds, or you like it better with the it was better diamonds? With the diamonds. Well, that's good, man. It's a good size too. No f the money. Well, it looks good. Let me wrap it up, man. Basically, he wanted a nice rope chain, kind of short, like 28 inches. Pay homage to the old school. Everything came out the way he wanted. So I had to go see Pusha T real quick to drop off this piece. He's actually at a video shoot right now for The Dream. Let's see what happens. That whole thing looks you know, it's cool. <laughs> Exodus. Yo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you're in town. Let's see it. Come on. You don't want to waste no time. So just people know it's, it's the tribute to the old school. So, yeah. dope boy, fresh, perfect. Oh man, put on a black sweatshirt, 
Stiff Levi's and Converse, and I'm going around like iced tea all day. <laughs> Crazy. Told you, man. You deserve I love the piece, man. The piece is just like vintage, dope boy, fresh. It's always easy working with Ben. It's always good. It's no haggling. He's just like, yo, this is what it's going to be. Wire the money over for my accountant. And that's it. One good thing about Pusha T is that he appreciates my work. The amount of tedious work that goes into Michael Paveng and just the whole nine, you know what I mean? If people get excited over the stupidest shit, they'll see some, some like, deaf person cross the street and be like, oh, wow, look, he crossed the street, he's deaf. Show me a guy who has no arms, no legs, and is f***ing riding a bicycle down a hill. I'm like, that's f***ing, oh, wow, then I say that, you know what I mean? So that's what I compare my work to. Just giving you guys one of my little Ben Baller examples. Have a blessed day. <laughs>